Hey guys, this is Jeff Jackson. You're here in Middle Tennessee looking at my collection of stuff. Right now, uh, we are going to, with Binder TV, look at my 1974 International 100, which was Grand National Champ at uh, Lightline All Scout International Nationals in Troy, Ohio, 2014. And here it is. Bought out of a newspaper in 2007. I paid $800 for this truck. Of course, it didn't look like this when I bought it <laughs> in 2007 straight out of What year is it? And tell us about it. It's a 1974 truck. Uh, it has a 392 and a four-speed T19. It's actually pretty much this clean in this original. I did put factory air conditioning on it and had the air conditioning compressor upgraded to a Sandin. Um, this truck also has headers on it, which if you're a 74, 75 guy, you know that those break pretty easy. And that's why, one reason why I went to headers too, it's, it's loud and I like it. Um, but this, this truck, when I bought it, only had 90,000 miles on it. It was used as a deer camp. These guys had a camper in it. It came from Colorado. Uh, bought from my hometown dealership of Hanson Equipment in Grand Junction, Colorado. And they had a camper in the bed, which saved the bed. Um, of course, most of these trucks rusted out and were used up. But since this guy was only used once a year for deer season, it survived pretty good. And check out the inside. When this bit was built, um, a lot of work was done. The heavy stuff was done here by... Uh, Doug Scott locally. Let me shut my glove box. I did redo the interior, but it's all international. These are out of a travel all actually. I kind of like the, the buddy seat setup. Um, new upholstery. That is an original dash, which again, if you're a truck guy like this, you know they all break. It took me years to find that one. Um, but it, other than the lift, which I got it that way from the other owner. It's really only had two or three other modifications. It's all international, every bit of it. The drivetrain's international, 392, T19 four-speed, NP205 transfer case. Um, it's just a really good, original, clean example of, well, I always wanted this truck in high school and I grew up and now I have one as an adult. So what all have you done to it? Uh, it did, it was born with a 345, so I did put a 392 in it. Um, a local guy here, he's a Corvette guy. His name's Delmer Capley. He painted it for me. This paint job is actually coming on 14 years old, and it's still really, really in great shape. Of course, this truck leads a pretty pampered life inside this building, but um, we do drive it a lot in the summertime especially, and I'm not afraid to put a trailer on it and drive it around with a big trailer on it because... It's still an international and that's what it's made to do and that's what it's happy to do. Um, mileage wise, you know, you hear all these horror stories about fuel economy. Well, it's an international. It's not supposed to get good mileage. It wasn't designed that way. I drive this truck like I want to and I still get 12 to 13 miles to the gallon. And it's, it's wide open. <laughs> Three and a half inch pipes, headers, straight out the back just like God wanted big block V8s to run. It's a very, very, very fun truck and we drive it like a truck. One thing I did put on this truck as an upgrade with this lift, it had a horrible bump steer. So this is actually off a K5 Blazer, this sway bar. And I used the link kit from the, the, from the GM product too, which is a really, 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 really nice, simple, cheap upgrade too. But one thing great about these trucks, 74, 75 factory disc brakes. And that also shares the same rotor as the Scout, which is kind of good if you're looking for rotors. People tell you there are parts. There are parts. You just got to know who to call. I suggest you call Super Scout Specialists. <laughs> Thanks for the plug. This truck was built out of Springfield. Well, that's true. Absolutely. Well, thanks, Jeff. We'll check you. Uh, I guess we're going to be looking at the rest of your collection. So. Some of them, yes. Happy to share. We'll That's the joy of it. See you next time. Thank you, Binder TV.